Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to make an undecorated uh, application. So here is like the normal. So you've got the normal windows top bit with the minimize, maximize and X. And in this tutorial what we're going to be doing instead is getting rid of that and sort of making our own one. So we've got plus and minus here. Okay, so first thing we want to do, make another package. So it doesn't really matter what it's called for the purposes of we're just going to call it a demo pack, or why not. And in here, we're going to have a few different things. So we want to, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using NetBeans and then Scene Builder, which we'll get onto a bit later on. So even if you're using Eclipse or anything like that, or typing it in uh, like Notepad, doesn't matter, it's pretty much the same. So we're going to want a Java class, but we're actually going to want the JavaFX main class. You could type the things in when you type class, but I'm going to cheat and just do this. So for the purposes of this, uh, what should we call it? Main. Now we'll do new window. Really awful name. Don't call you stuff that. So this is just created like a load of things. There we go. How exciting. We're also going to want at some point a controller. So we'll do, um, well again, we'll do the, you don't call your stuff this, new controller. Okay. Uh, first things first, we're gonna make our actual scene. I'm going to flip over to the scene builder here. Uh, we're going to create an empty one and do some things right. So, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to use a border pane. Why not? So, that a border pane effectively gives you four areas well, five areas one across the top, one down the right hand side, one across the bottom, one in the middle, and one down the left hand side. So, now we are just going to uh, and just a simple pane at the top. See when it comes up, it gives you these options. We want top. We don't want to do this. Ooh. We don't. Go back in. Uh, on the right hand side, we get all the properties, and I'm looking for the size of it because I do not want it that big. code bit you can give it an ID so I'm going to call it um, top pane why not yeah. there's our top pane and then we're going to add two buttons controls button This one is going to be our minimize button. This one's going to be our text button. Obviously you could add you could replace the style of these with like images or something else if you wanted. Going to code um, button close. So now you can see that our files in here, and if we want to view it, I can't remember the. No, don't double tap it. Maybe it's edit. Edit. It gives us all this. Okay. So in our window, we are going to go and get rid of all of this. We do not need any of this. 
Okay. Up to. There. Okay, it's going to look like scene. So, scene, scene, view, scene. This is a bit backwards because I haven't made root. called so we need to demo interface XML again not a very good name yeah, that's probably going to complain about this a bit if we want that one oh, that one that one's complaining about the laptop is taking off so I don't know whether you'll actually be able to hit me or not. So I'm going to try this. There we go. So again we've still got the top bit and we've got these two buttons. Okay. So now the next bit. So we're now just going to remove that top bit entirely which is stage dot in it style. So now you notice the top part is completely gone, and now we've got this window that we can't do anything with. Right here, close that. So now, onto the important bit the controller. So, in this controller, we've got to sort of reference all of the things that we have in here. So we've got our uh, button min, button max, and whatever I called this, top pane. Okay. So FX man, private, button, um, already forgot what I called it. and easy okay so now well now we'll go back to our scene builder the only thing is I'm going to set the controller but sometimes it's not a massive fan so in here a new window. Oh, put a new control. Demo pack dot new control. Now we'll be able to know whether it works. It'll probably crash now. Yeah, okay. So in here. does not exist. Uh, ah. New control. Okay. Again, so our controllers will set up. Now we want these buttons. 
happens to actually do something. So all action we want. Get off the range. Handle. I think it might give us the option. So in here we're going to want three things. So we want when the user presses the minimize button, when the user presses the close button, and when someone drags on that top. So now I'm going to do that next on here again. Uh, give it a type protect protected. Close action. Action. Event. Event. Button. Again, I think he's going to complain about our imports. They look good. Okay. So, handle close button. So, that's there. If we go back into here. And we go, it's going to give us the option. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right, save that. Back into here. Is it going to close? actually help if I close it. What I've done is just set it to get the win to get the stage but I haven't actually done the stage dot close. That may help. There we go. So now we've got our close button. So very similar. Protected. And now, effectively, what this does is it grabs whatever the stage is, sort of backwards from the close button. I mean, you could do it again using exactly the same button, but I'm just going to do button min just for the sake of it. And then stage dot set. Using the benefit of this, go back in, handle min, save, go back to our window, and it's gone down here. Okay, so there are the two nice and easy bits done. The next bit's slightly more complicated, but not that much. XML, I think we get the idea about the protected void and then a handle. Awful name. This time we're having a mouse event. Event. Oh, P. Thinking. Now it doesn't like mouse event, so I have double them. So this time we want. This is when. Oh, this isn't. when you first click on it. So again, we want the whole stage shenanigans. What, uh, uh, what do we call it? Top pane. Okay. Now for 
this we want sort of two variables to store our sort of offset just for the purpose of this I'm going to cheat for our x and our y both doubles okay go back down to here and we're going to use our offset stage dot press the wrong button get x minus set dot get screen x yeah. and we want that for y so I'm just going to copy that line of text because otherwise I would be here all day. Y. Y. Okay. No, no good enough. So this is when we first click on it, it gets these values, sets these values. So then we can do it again. Epic spell. with that but we don't want that straight away we want event dot get screen x plus that to feel automatically do it for this stage dot set y no, that's still going for the on the mouse dragged as well to move and save right let's go back in here Ooh, test that it all works okay so i've clicked on it and move the only weird thing is the cursor goes to the top left hand corner uh, i don't know why if you have any thoughts on that write them in the comments below but other than that we now have our fully borderless thing and if you really want you can do some styling make it look a bit more exciting like on this one where it's sort of grey and orange and got fancy colours. Other than that we are done for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. It was helpful. If it wasn't uh, my apologies and I'll be surprised if you lasted this far. Thank you for watching.